Chief Election Commissioner and Other Election Commissioner's Bill 2023. Why we are discussing it? Because the bill was introduced in the Rajya Sabha least recently. Chief Election Commissioner and Other Commissioner's Appointment, Conditions of Service and Term of Office Bill 2023. Election Commission, is it is Election Commission a constitutional body? Yes. Do you know the article? Article 324 of the Constitution defines elect, uh, Election Commission. It addresses the uh, independence or it, uh, superintendence of the Election Commission. Okay, Article 324 is, that's important one, because Election Commission is a constitutional body. So, here comes about the appointment or conditions of the this bill is about the appointment, conditions of service, and term of office of election commission. So this becomes important. Okay. Election commission of India. As I said before, the election commission of India is an autonomous constitutional authority. Constitutional authority responsible for administering election processes in India. Mainly, election uh, commission of India is responsible for election of the President, Vice President, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, State Legislative Assemblies in India. These are the five elections which is which is done by Election Commission of India. This Election Commission of India is responsible for conducting election in the local bodies like Panjayat or municipalities. No. Uh, who conducts it? State Election Commission. Okay. Don't get confused with that. Election Commission of India only uh, takes or uh, conducts admin, uh, election of, of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, State Legislative Assembly, that is Legislative Council or Legislative Assembly, and the offices of President and Vice President. Only this five is addressed by the Election Commission of India. In the local bodies, election is conducted by State Leg Election Commission. Okay. Now, Election Commission operates under the authority of the Constitution as per art Article 324. Later, subsequently, this was enacted in the Representation of People's Act. Okay, As such, there was no laws regarding the appointment or condition of uh, conditions of service or terms. Just in the Article 324, it is mentioned that the President decides the number of the Election Commission. Okay, Chief Election Commissioner is appointed by the President. Election Commission means chief, there will be a Chief Election Commissioner and other Election Commission as well. Okay, Chief Election Commissioner and other Election Commissioners, uh, they have the similar power. But in the Constitution, more protection is given to the Chief Election Commissioner. Okay, that is important. Okay, Article, as per Article 324 of the Constitution, Election Commission consisting of Chief Election Commission and such number of election commissioners as the president as the president may decide. It's not like it is given one or three or four. It's not given the number. Okay. The president have the power to decide what will be the number of election commission. Okay. Also, they are appointed by the president based on the recommendations of the government. This is the most important part. President as such can't uh, appoint, like unilaterally, he can't uh, appoint someone as election commission. It is done based on the recommendations of the government. Okay. So, this was the major reason for the uh, bill. There was, in 2015, there was a public interest litigation filed in the Supreme Court. Okay. Regarding the appointment of the election commission. Why? Because President... Uh, appoints election commission but with the recommendation of the government okay there is an executive power involvement in the uh, election commission uh, appointment of the election commission so this uh, in 2015 and public interest litigation was filed and in 2023 uh, judgment was um, judgment regarding the public interest litigation was uh, what uh, given in the march to 2023 was the judgment given okay so to counter that in one of the uh, to counter that in one way we can say that to counter that this bill has occurred okay why because in the 
uh, what judgment it was said that election commissioner will be appointed by a selection committee which will be headed by prime minister leader of opposition which will uh, not headed by which has the uh, which will be consisting of prime minister leader of the opposition and chief justice of india okay so a judicial part was also involved in the appointment of the election commissioner that that was the judgment which was given by a constitutional bench in the uh, march 2023 in response of a public interest litigation okay after that this bill regarding the appointments conditions of services and terms of election com chief election commission and election commission of india was introduced in the uh, rajya sabha okay so first let us see the provisions and then we'll we uh, we will see what are the differences in the judgment and the bill okay so first provision is the bill specifies the same composition of election commission it adds that same composition of election commission means one chief election commissioner and other election commission as the president may decide from time to time clear okay now but there was an addition the addition was they will be appointed by the rec from the recommendation of a selection committee earlier it was appointed by the recommendation of government by the president president appoints the election commission by the recommendation of the government now there will be a selection committee that was the change okay now the selection committee will consist of prime minister as the chairperson leader of opposition in the lok sabha and union cabinet minister union cabinet minister nominated by the prime minister as the member union cabinet minister so the selection committee consists of three uh, members one will be the prime minister okay will be the chairperson and next will be the leader of the opposition so we were talking about the selection committee selection committee had three members chairperson by the prime minister and a mem cabinet member recommended by him and leader of opposition another provision is there will be a, a search committee we we are told that a selection committee will appoint the chief election commissioner or the election commissioners but the selection committee should be selected right so they will be re recommended by the selection committee okay search committee will be recommended by the selection committee okay the search committee will be headed by the cabinet secretary okay it will have other two members not below the rank of secretary to the central government having knowledge and experience in the matters related to election do you see any uh, like common thing in the selection committee and search committee yes the government is having more power right in the selection committee search committee there will be cabinet secretary and this uh, rank of the secretary to the central government okay they will decide who will be the selection committee okay in the selection committee as well pm is the chairman only the opposition leader is the other person the other one is cabinet um, uh, cabinet minister right okay so there is an executive or the government uh, importance in the selection as well as the search committee in the 1991 act provides that the salary of ezs will be equal to that of a supreme court judge that was in the act representation of people's act okay the bill provides that the salary allowance and service conditions of the ezs and other will be the same as that of the cabinet secretary the salaries allowances were earlier equalized to the supreme court judge now it has changed to the cabinet secretary uh, rank okay that is another change introduced in the bill okay why is the controversy that was i was talking before there was a public interest litigation which was filed in 2015 and the judgment came in the march 2023 okay in that the search committee or the selection committee will be headed by the chief justice of india prime minister and leader of opposition so the change is chief judicial chief justice of india is not present in the current bill okay that is the major controversy which has which occurred okay opposition accused that government of diluting and overturning a constitution bench order i told you 
in response to a 2015 uh, public interest litigation a constitutional bench was responsible for the judgment and now with the bill the dilution and overturning of the constitutional bench order is occurring okay that is the major controversy in the bill concerns about the bill first one potential government interference we see that in the search committee as well as in the selection committee which is responsible for the uh, appointment of the election commission majorly government interference is high okay what is the major uh, role of election commission yes to conduct free and fair election what if the in the appointment itself the government interference is high this will question the independency of the election commission right so this is the first major concern about the bill okay next one Executive majority, the same thing in the selection process. Election process, the selection committee, mainly two of the three. Only the leader of oppo opposition is the non-executive person, legislative person rather. All others are executive, right? Third one is enable the government to maintain a firm grip on the selection of top election officials, potentially influencing the fairness and impartiality of the electoral process. Same thing. Government interference is high, it will affect the free and fair elections, conduction of free and fair elections, right? Now, the other one is lack of transparency and undue influence will lead to mistrust among trust among the citizens. It's, li uh, it's like executives are the major uh, portion or major involved in the selection process or the appointment process. So this will affect the trust of the citizens, right? Now, more power to the executive, same thing. Now, against the spirit of constitution and the vision of framers of constitution as this move could interfere with the autonomy of the election commission. Over executive interference will question the vision of the constitution as election commission is a constitutional body. Okay. Now, issue of balance of power as only res less representation to the leader of opposition. Only leader of opposition is the legislative one. All others are the executives. Okay. That is the reason. Now, the way forward or what can be done. First thing is, the major problem lies is in the selection committee, right? Majorly executive domination is happening. So, this could be reconsidered, right? It, is it like uh, one leader of opposition and two members from the executive? So, this could be reconsidered. That could be one of the solution, okay? Now, the second is Dinesh Goswami committee in 1990, and Justice Tarkande Committee, they gave recommendations for the independence or uh, for the um, election, uh, Chief Election Commissioner, free and fair elections, okay, mainly regarding Election Commission. They have given certain recommendations that could be considered as well, mainly because we are considering with the appointment and terms of service of the Election Commission. So the recommendations of them could also be considered. Uh, mainly, there is a problem that we discussed was mistrust among the citizens. Okay, who are the major say, uh, stakeholders in the election process? People, yes. So our opinion or consultation with the stakeholders is also could be a way forward for this or also could be a solution for this, right? Concern is mainly among the citizens. That's as this could lead to mistrust in the process of election, okay? So major consultation with the stakeholders, mainly citizens is also a way forward or a solution, okay? Engaging in discussions with the relevant stakeholders like independent experts, jurists, and civil society. Civil society is normal people like us. Okay. Also, uh, NGOs, SSGs, all are representing the common people, right? Okay, represents to address the concerns regarding the bill. Next one is ensuring that any changes made to the appointment process are transparent and line in line with the democratic principle. Majorly, a concern was that the election commission is a constitutional body. So when this appointment get, is getting uh, what more um, in control of executive, this will affect the constitutional independency or constitutional uh, vision of the framers will get affected. So majorly, uh, to tackle this, more transparency in the process of appointment could be a solution for that. Okay.